you're a farmer, okay, a farmer in the Af in in the Africa region, in particular in Botswana. So if you're farming cows, one of the main problems that they do encounter is uh, predators attacking their <laughs> their cows, in particular lions, or in this case, obviously the lioness who hunt uh, for their livestock, which is not good news. Now, obviously. Uh, one solution that farmers can do is, you know, put a barricade or fence, but that tends to be costly. So not everyone can afford it. So what are the alternatives? So what they do here is, you know, they can kill the animal, but that's illegal in their country because they're protected. Obviously, it's not the fault of the lion if their territory is being encroached by humans. So you know, as we venture further and further into the territories of, you know, lions and, uh, lions and you know, other uh, animals so is there a way to combat you know or protect the animals on both sides not needing to kill the, an uh, the lions but protecting the cows themselves well one such researcher was able to find a solution I don't know if it's a long-term solution but it's a very interesting solution so we're in they paint, paint the eyes of the cows to prevent the lion attacks so you can clearly see here in the picture so they put eyes at the behind of the cow so what the point here is, since lions or lioness are predatory animals, they use stealth to catch their prey. So if they see the eyes, they see that they see you approaching, so they would be, uh, what do you call this? They will think twice before attacking the animal, which was, you know, to surprise, had positive outcome, meaning I think... Out of the how many how many samples that they did, where was it? Ah, yeah. So the results were encouraging, as mentioned here. There were three that were killed out of the thirty-nine unpainted unpainted cows, but none of the twenty-three painted cows was taken. So meaning it was effective. Now, obviously, there was they received some criticism regards to. Obviously, lions are very smart animals and that they might adapt in the future, but, you know, there's no harm in trying. If it's effective now or even in the future, then good for the cows, you know, until, until such a time they can uh, craft or find a better way to protect the animals on both sides and not, not having to kill the animals. Otherwise, you know, eventually the farmers will be forced to kill the lions, which is, you know, which is not good. We need to protect our uh, animals on this planet.